Welcome to the best four-wheel driving channel on YouTube. We're all about four-wheel driving, all about four-wheel drive adventures. All about off-road, aren't we, Martin? We four-wheel drive 24-7. It's four-wheel driving action right here. We've got Jimneys. We got K-Trucks. We got Suzukis. We got, we got Daihatsus. We have got so many four-wheel drives. Lift kitted ones. And with mud tires. ATs. We don't MTs. even know. We don't even know which car to use. We have so many. That's right. I don't know what other four-wheel driving channels you've been watching, but they're run by chumps. They don't know what they're doing. We know what we're doing. We are professional four-wheel drive we're adventurers. Having a, we're having a good crack at being the ultimate four-wheel drive. 24-7 adventure off-roading place to go to get your fill of off-road stuff. This is some of the worst beer oh, I've ever Oh, this beer is so life. bad. Holy shit. So come with us on this journey because today we're working on the Suzuki Jimny. We're doing a lift kit. We are. We're doing muddies. Putting big tyres on it. I don't know where they are. That's, that's a full and, drive. You and that? we are going to be taking you along with us because as they say, Four-wheel drive. Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods, your home of four-wheel driving action, adventure, and off-road shenanigans. And rubbish talking. Yep, we, we're talking about the off-road. Our car's never left this shed. <laughs> it's been on jack stands for a long time. This is a Suzuki Jimny, um, the previous generation Jimny to the crazy new ones you can see on the road. The it's good a one. solid little motor. Um, it's gonna be excellent. We have done a little bit of testing with it, um, but with these new mods, we're pretty excited to see what's possible. We've got our front bar on. We've done a whole bunch of work on the inside of the car, but now it's the fun stuff. That is right. It, it's, it's not it's just fun, fun, Martin. It's, it's the penultimate. Penultimate. Is that, did it's I just the, say it right? I, you may have. Penultimate. Do, they use, the, do people on four-wheel drive shows say words like penultimate? They, they do, well, this is a four-wheel drive that show is, and you just said it. it. So the answer is yes. This is the penultimate mod don't for four-wheel do drive. Don't do it to yourself. It's so bad. Is, um, don't pretend. Muddy tyres, mate. Yes. That's like the first mod. And that's why we're doing it last. Um, because we're not even following our own advice. But if you want some off-road action, you want adventure into the nether regions, you need to be rubbered up. And you need ground clearance too. You can't be you can't be too low scraping stuff everywhere. You need clearance. It's the opposite of what you want on the street to look like a legend. You want to drive around in your lifted mad four-wheel drive. So that is exactly what we're doing this episode. We're doing a lift kit, a two-inch lift kit. Big muddies. And we're doing some big muddies. And then Martin, I'm ready for the action, man. We're throwing the Barbie in the back. We're going out to make an epic episode well, where half of it's going to be a shot of me cooking a fish. Sounds good to me. It's going to be excellent. As long as I don't have to eat the fish. <laughs> no, where are tyres? Let's uh, look tires at the tyres. Let me show you what we're installing today and then we will just hook right into it. So if you want to be getting off road, the first mod that you need to do to your mad car is a proper set of muddy or all-terrain tyres. Now I'm going to be using on the Jimny a set of BF Goodrich all-terrain KO2s. These are LT21575 R15. This in itself, before we even do any suspension, is going to give us a one-inch lift. This is an aggressive tyre. Now, BF Goodrich have been around for like 150 years. And what was his name, Martin? The dude that invented the Benjamin thing. Franklin Goodrich. Benj Benjamin Franklin Goodrich. Something so, like that. I uh, think that's that was like invented in the 1800s. Now, a cool fact about these is the first person to cross the continent of the United States of Awesome had these on their car. They're on the space that shuttle. What? They're on the space shuttle, dude. The space not your, shuttle. Not them, but BF Goodrich made the tyres for the space shuttle. Did they? Yeah, reusable space vehicle, man. Wow. Um, they do Baja, they do all of that stuff. It's a widely used tyre. It's going to be noisier than a road tyre because it's really aggressive. But just look at the chunk. So that is giving us our first little bit of accessibility, getting to places that your normal car's not going to go. Your RAV4 is not getting there. I know someone's going to link up a RAV4 with lots of work done, but it's probably not getting there. And then next up, Martin... I'm just going to say it. They're going to link to a stock Subaru getting through stuff gnarlier than what this can get through. How many four-wheel drive trucks does Subaru make that anyone cares about? 
They don't need to get trucks. Okay. They can drive outbacks. All right, outbacks so we're also installing in rallies, man. It's a two-inch lift kit. Let me show you this. Now, unlike some falls you may follow on the internet that modify Sylvia's and Rexy's and Supra's and MR2's and Daihatsu's and other cool cars like that that are always trying to get them lower, which makes them useless, uh, four-wheel drives usually want to try and make them higher so you get more ground clearance, but not so high that it messes up the center of gravity. So on the Jimny, we're going to be installing a Dobinson's lift kit. Now, you can order this stuff through Super Cheap Auto and Dobinson's have actually sent this down. This is, I believe, a two-inch lift kit. And to hear more about it, my good friend Isaac, who's an expert on Volkswagens, will be telling you all about it. Thanks for coming down, man. Hey, bro. Um, tell me what the deal is with this. Right, so this is a 40 mil lift kit. Um, but it's a constant load kit, so we've added some weight to the car. So they've taken that into consideration for the height that these springs are going to give us. So because there's more weight on the front That's bar, right. then there's a different spring rate. Yeah, so we end up with a yeah constant load spring. Um, also, we get longer travel in the shocks and also longer travel in the spring. Yeah. So the car will appear to be 40 mils higher with the load, but we'll be actually getting a lot longer wheel travel, yeah, both okay. up and down. And, and it's all about sort of keeping your wheels on the ground when yep. you're off-road. You don't want to be lifting a wheel up with really, really hard spring rates. Do if you're on Instagram though. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah. but not Just actually the in the real world. Yeah, for the grams. But in the real world, to keep it safe, we want to keep all our wheels on the ground as much as we can. Okay. Um, some instances you just can't avoid it. Um, but this is probably one of the better Australian kits I've seen. Um, and, and they're good with these little trucks. Like I fitted a couple of these kits now and they work great. Yeah. So you get more articulation yeah, in cool. the wheel, but you stay legal. It's, it's really important to stay legal in the in the four wheel drive world, especially um, they're really, it's really And important. Queensland, they're really cracked down on that. They're really they? cracking Defecting down. People for it. Absolutely. Yeah. And for really good reason. I mean, these cars can tip over. There's a lot of weight in these vehicles and people are traveling at the moment. So the safer we can be, but still be capable. Like I'm all for that. Safe and capable. I'm all about it. Absolutely. They're going on the factory rim. I was considering buying something else. Actually, just I really like them. Me and too. if they didn't look like that, I probably would have bought something like that. So I've yep. painted those. They're going to get fitted up. We're going to put this in. This is giving us a one inch lift because it's two inches wider, which that's as right. a circle you have it because that's, that's, right. We're gaining that's one what inch Pi everyone. told us and his mate Pythagoras. Uh, anyway, so that's one inch and yep. are we adding that to 40 mil? That's correct. So we're actually getting like a 65 mil yeah, lift. That's right, yeah. If anything higher than what we've done actually needs a few other components. So some people might be watching thinking, where's the pan hard rods? Where's our caster correction bushes? Well, that's what I was links. thinking. We're, we're sort of right at the, the point of where we need to do that stuff or okay, not. Okay, cool. We should still be in the range of a wheel alignment. We may need longer um, longer links on our sway bar, yeah. um, but that's that's basically it. Anything bigger than 40, okay. we have to throw a lot more parts at it. Cool. And for not a great deal more capability in one of these. Well, I think so. the thing is, like, all the cars that we modify, and we've done yep. so many different things on this show, I reckon rather than just like throwing a whole pancake at it, yep. you just want to eat a little bit first and see how it goes. Because I think yep. some people, particularly like with performance cars, they lower it, coil overs, exhaust, do all this stuff, and then drive it and go, well, now it's shit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So what I want to try and do is is kind of take it in stages. Yeah, and it's so a good way to do it. Doing it like this and everything that we've done, yep. I think is awesome because we're going to have proper what they call truck tires. We're gonna have a lift, we got our snorkel, we got our bar, we got my rack for all my gear. Like it's actually gonna be super capable. Absolutely, and one of the biggest mods for a four-wheel drive is the driver. So this is gonna be like a really steep learning curve just to get used to how it feels. So why not start low? Learning curve, so well that, done. That's Isaac. my idea. They, they can get pretty top heavy if you go crazy anyway. You're, you're gonna love it. Stock yep. it's capable. So yeah, yeah. you know, you run rings around most things standard in one of these and yep. that's not what we're So it is to. more capable than like a RAV4? Absolutely, then? yeah. Okay, we're like, not even in it, like we're not even in the same league. Like yeah, More capable than a Subaru? Stop it. Absolutely. Like a Subaru in present, like not Ab even close? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, I, these they're unbelievable. Like they're tiny little cars, and no one takes them seriously. But the people who know really know. And yeah, I just love that it's a K car in Japan. That it's that small, and it's yeah. probably hard to see just how small it is. Yep. But small and capable. A lot of people want to add lift kits to their four wheel drives for the practicality of more ground clearance when off road. Lift kits also allow the fitment of bigger tyres which may also need some body modifications and many people just want to lift their cars up because they think it looks tougher. And let's be honest, with four-wheel drives, it usually actually does. Some considerations when lifting your car, specifically to the Jimny, is the short and narrow wheelbase. The higher the car goes, the more top-heavy and susceptible to rollovers it becomes. While you can go crazy with heights, most people with Jimny start with around a 2-inch lift and this is exactly what we're installing. 
In terms of the process, changing the shocks and springs is not really any different to when you're changing the shocks and springs when lowering your car, except that instead of going down, it's going up. So the suspension is in on the front, our two inch lift kit, and now our mad KO2s can go on. On our factory painted rim, I reckon that looks excellent. With the front wheels and tyres on, now we can move on to the back of the car. So our lift kit has now been installed. Our muddies are on. I reckon those factory rims also look freaking awesome now that they're painted black. So it's been a bit of a transformation. Now, as I said before, I don't know what it's called like in four wheel driving land, but I don't know if you'd call this a stage one mods or a stage two, or maybe they just don't do that shit because they think it's stupid and that would be reasonable as well. But really what's going on here, I think is kind of the beginnings of doing, a, um, the beginnings of doing what you would need to do to make a little adventure four wheel drive. And do some um, crossings there with our snorkel. We've got some lift. And now we can drop it down. And that there is a mad little Jimny. There's a bunch of other stuff that I've just thrown up in the top, but that is something we can get to another time. Also in the boot, I've just got basic stuff like, how oh, we're gonna add another 12 volt socket in the back so we can run our um, Ryobi in vehicle charger. Uh, there'll also be a crate coming that's just kind of got standard tools and stuff like that in it. Um, of course, a little esky. There isn't heaps of room in the Jimny, so when the seats are down, you do have a bit of room, but I bought this esky. It's only a small one, it's 13 liters, but it does fit in there with the door closed, which is handy. And then up the top, this is just where I'm gonna have like my swag, my kind of recovery gear, these things that apparently someone needs, I need. I've never used them before, but I think when you get bogged, you stick them down. Actually, I do know what they're for, because I'm a, this is the best four wheel drive channel on YouTube. You, you do see the picture, you do that. There's a few things to do, and then we're going bush. And of course, you are gonna be coming with us for the first time as the Suzuki Jimny goes bush for the first time. What is this car called? It doesn't have a name yet, it needs a name. So let us know what it should be called and thus it shall be named that forever and forevermore. <laughs>